Let's find out why this thing won't stay running. I suspect it's in the carburetor. Let's pull it off. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we've got a little quarter inch headed, which is probably, what, eight millimeter, but quarter inch fits it fine. We've got a little screw here we're going to have to take out. These things are usually pretty short. Should have brought my ratcheting wrench, but... Alright, so we'll take that out, set it aside, don't lose it. We've got a couple uh, Phillips headed screws in here. Now these, uh, this is just a five and a half, half horsepower Tecumseh engine. Uh, they make perfect uh, go-kart and mini bike engines. Well, I won't say perfect, they make good ones. My, the perfect in my book is Briggs and Stratton. You ain't gonna get much better than that. That's my my opinion. I don't work for them or anything like that. But uh, there's supposed to be a gasket on here. I I have a feeling we're gonna have to make a couple gaskets. But uh, these things are usually pretty reliable. Uh, start wise, they usually start pretty easy. This one started giving me troubles. A couple days after I had it, so it it would start and then want to stall. And if you held the primer bulb, it would run as long as you're holding the primer bulb. It won't even do that now. So there's probably it's probably got a piece of dirt in it somewhere. Now down in here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in here. See that? Those uh. Those shouldn't be on there. And I can see that few lines split. So, we got to take these off. I'm guessing the top one, no, it ain't the main line. This one here is the main, looks like maybe the main line. So, let's go ahead and pull this off and see if we can get the fuel drained out of it. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and siphon it out. I'm not going to show you how I do that because you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, and then we'll we'll take this carburetor off and we'll get it inside on the bench. I ordered some new primer bulbs. This one's not looking the greatest, though it was working. But I ordered some new primer bulbs. We'll we'll check that out. I'm suspecting it may be sucking some air around the throttle here, but I'm not positive. Because when it when it was running, if you shot carburetor cleaner on here around this area it would rev up so that's telling me it was sucking air I'm guessing right in here so um, anyway let me get the fuel drained out of it the best we can there's still going to be some in the bowl but that's I'm not worried about that so let me get the fuel drained out and then we'll go from there okay I've got the gas drained out of it there'll still be a little bit come out now I've got I've got this empty can and a, and a funnel here to try to catch what little bit may come out. I don't know how well that's going to work because I don't think this is going to stretch over there, but we'll try it. Uh, I hate getting fuel everywhere, but if uh, if Monkey was here, I would just throw this up on the tailgate of the truck and uh, and just drain it all out that way. Well, that didn't work. It's pretty well drained out. All right, let's get this one off of here. You shouldn't take these kind of these things, and as you can see, these lines are split. So I may have to replace these lines. And I don't know if I got any lines this big, but I'll have to check. Pretty good size line. Um, it's probably what three eighths, five sixteenths line. Uh, five sixteenths, I think it is. All right, let's go ahead and get the 
carburetor off of here. A couple bolts, one here on the inside and one out here. So, can you guys see that? You know, you get something like this, you don't know what someone has done to it. You know, uh, I mean, I heard the carburetor was rebuilt. I'm betting it wasn't. They didn't put that gasket there. I'll make one for that. Uh, and if it if it was hardly ever used, why would it need the carburetor rebuilt? So, I don't know. Shit, I may have to get my... I have to get my stubby wrench. Now these, these bolts here, they are, I'm going to focus, they're hex head and Phillips head. So, screen's upside down. Alright, so that's what I did on this back one. Okay, that gasket looks pretty decent there. Alright, let's take the uh, governor off here. Just like that. Try not to lose that little piece right here. You can't see it. I'll show it to you. This little piece right here. Still can't see it. Try not to lose this. If you lose it, you'll have to make one. That one looks like it may have been made, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, right, so we got the carburetor off here. It's been tapped on a few times. It may have been off because it looks like this was cleaned. With, uh, of course, you can take the bowl off like we did without taking the carb off, but it looks like this has been cleaned up real nice. Um, it does have a couple dings. I tapped on it a couple times. I think I put that ding in right there, but there's more than that. I know I didn't hit it there, so. All right, so I'm going to drain this fuel out before it leaks everywhere into my can here. My little funnel. There we go. I got her draining down in here into that. All right, I got that sitting there, just like that. I'm gonna let that drain a little bit, and then we're gonna go in the garage. We're gonna pull this thing apart. We'll probably soak it. Uh, see this kind of. This right here that you see, that cloth, is supposed to keep it from sucking air. And I don't, I don't know if if that's original or not. I can't say that I've ever. I've usually seen them where they're rubber. I can't say that I've ever seen one made out of something like that. So we may have to try to find something for that because I know it was sucking air around there. So, all right. Let's get in the garage. Okay, this is just a, one of my old hospital gowns I use for a rag. I know there's going to be a little bit of fuel come out of here. This is just a half inch wrench. That's pretty tight. Shouldn't be that tight. I don't know why I tightened it that tight. Looks like this gasket here. Well, though it wasn't leaking, I'll probably have to clean it up a little bit and make sure I don't think it's going to leak but okay there's I don't 
any water don't see any water in it um, I may get a carburetor I looked at carburetors on these things I can get this carburetor for 12 bucks but if I can clean it for free that would even be better this is uh, getting a little cracked here I may let's go ahead and clean this up I may go ahead and order a carburetor for this thing um, if I'm going to sell it, I mean, I want it to be right, you know, so. Uh, well, as right as I can get it. Okay, this has been out. It's all dinged up there. That shouldn't be dinged like that. It should be flat. Um, so someone may have rebuilt it but I'd say they just took it apart and cleaned it and apparently didn't do a very good job on it this uh, this is kinda kinda screwed up there doesn't sound like it's doing anything now used to but there's a little clip right there and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Ordered a bunch of these because I'm always doing stuff like this. Hello! I'm good, how are you? You too! Uh, the male lady, she's sweet. She's got time, she'll talk to anybody. and Very pleasant. Always brings a mail on time, she's very early. Uh, but yeah so anyway there's that's what holds it in is this little clip right here you might be able to see down inside there that's the clip usually now if you're really careful you can take these out and reuse them but um, I never do for as cheap as these things are I just put new ones in I'll show you how to put this in what I usually do is get a socket that's just that size there and I'll show you when I put it back in to tap that down in there but I don't know there's see there's down inside here there's a rubber o-ring I can't put it in the parts washer like with that on it um, this thing I'd like to take this out and get that off of there now if that's original what what could have possibly happened is uh, you know they just stuck the whole thing in there and it kind of ruined this I don't know I've never seen one quite like that before you know I may just go ahead and order a carburetor for this thing but let's you know we're this far let's go ahead and we'll clean this up and then find out what's going on um, we got to get this piece that red thing down in there yeah, let's see. there's a that little red thing right there can you see that Right there, that red thing comes up through here, and we've got to pop that down out of there. So, all right, let me move this out of the way, we'll get you down here, maybe see a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to try to push that down through with a straight screwdriver. Hopefully I don't screw it up. They make special tools for this. I don't have them. I've just always used a I've just always used a screwdriver. All I'm doing is just trying to push that down through. Looks like it's coming out. See, there's rubber up in there. I'd say someone. Yeah, this is not looking good. I don't have a rebuild kit. I don't think I'm going to be able to get by with just cleaning it. I'm probably. I, I can buy a kit for like five bucks. I can buy the damn thing. Well, it's twelve. I can get this one on sale for ten bucks. 
Um, I don't. It's. I don't think it's an actual Tecumseh. See, this is the actual carb. It's got that Indian on it. I call them Tecumsehs. A lot of people call them Tecumsehs. I usually call them Shitcumses. But uh, you know, it's just a matter of preference. Like I said, when they're running, they run great and they are very reliable. But um, when you have issues. Nine times out of ten is the carburetor. They do have a good electronic system in my book, like I said. Just my personal preferences and opinions. So, looks like there should have been, I think there's a rubber seal that goes on there, a little rubber o-ring. And, uh, I think, I think this is what's left of that. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me see something here. Let me get this. So that's what has happened. And I don't have one of them. It's never going to run right. So I'm just I'm going to have to get a either get a kit or a carburetor. I know you guys can't see down in there, but this stuff's coming out of it. So someone has left this in there and they've soaked it and it's ate that up. Um, that could be an issue. Why? It was running funny too. Um, yeah, there's supposed to be like an O ring, something like this here. Like this one. Goes on right there. So we don't have one, and I know I don't have one, and I don't have one even close to that. Uh, I thought I had no ring set, but uh, I think it's clips. We'll, we'll check and see, but but we're going to go ahead and clean this up any, anyway. Soak it. I do have a fuel line or a fuel filter to put on here. I thought I had it sitting out here for us. Uh, but maybe I don't. This is all I'm going to use. It's not really a filter filter. All it is, I don't know if you can see in there. It's just a little screen, but it does help. So that's what we're going to be putting back on it. There's, as you can see, there is no adjustments. Well, one adjustment. Okay, let's get technical, everybody. One adjustment, that's for the, uh, the, uh, for the idle. So... Man, I really hate messing with these butterflies, but we need to take it out and check this this deal here. Because I'm pretty sure it was sucking a lot of air around there. Let me grab my tool for that. Butterfly. It's got, okay, it's got that on top of it. See that little line there? That's on the top. So now this should come right up out of here. There's a little spring. Don't lose a spring. Yeah, see, I thought these were always rubber. But, I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe some were rubber and some were these things. So, um, what we can try to do is put that in upside down. And sometimes that will seal it up. But we'll just have to see. I mean, it, it feels good. I mean, there's a little bit of movement. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bit of movement. They get worn, you know, from 
you know, doing that. And these things, you might not be able to hear them, but this thing does this the whole time. You know, just, you know, like it's running and then you throw something inside it and it needs more. It just, it just constantly, these things are doing this. It's not real bad. I've I've seen worse that have ran better than this. So, but like I said, now let's go ahead and get this out of here. Since there, just yanked that one out. Since I got a new one. There, just like that. And then the new one will go down in, and then we'll tap it in with a with a, a, a socket or something so looks um <sighs> sick looks like there's some junk around there I'm not gonna pull that out because it was idling pretty close so I'm gonna mess with it just looking up inside and make sure yeah I don't see that o-ring I just I was making sure so that's a big issue. You know, a lot of people say it's not that important. Well, to me it is. So, uh, you know, it's on there. It's supposed to be on there. This thing, someone's beat the hell out of that. So they didn't rebuild this carburetor at all. They just took it apart and cleaned it and charged them for a rebuild. Uh, I, I can guarantee you that right now. Yeah, I can guarantee you that. And I'll bet you they didn't take any of this stuff out. Alright guys, um, it's still decent. That could be an emergency primer bulb, you know. That we can use on something. Okay, put that up in here. Well, I don't need to put this over here. I'm not going to soak this. There's really no reason to. I may clean it up. With some some steel wool. I will clean it up, but it's not going in the carburetor cleaner. So I'm going to put this in the carburetor cleaner. This in the carburetor cleaner. Uh, this it's looking it's looking bad, but it's uh, it apparently wasn't leaking. But it looks like it could start. So yeah, I'm I'm going to say this is getting a new carburetor. But we're into it this far. Let's see how it runs once we do this. But, you know, um, I ain't going to put a new carburetor on it. So let me get my, my carburetor cleaner up here. And then I'll have to put you guys on the charger. set up the cell yesterday we were going to but then we got to crash Sunday night she went to work today she's feeling a little better my neck's a little stiff but I mainly I'm catching a freaking cold again like you know I don't want a cold there's not much I can do about it so today I usually definitely set up Tuesdays but today I wanted to get wanted to get this done Oh yes, we're going to put this in there too. That needs to be clean. See that little hole there? That that may that may be why it wasn't running. Well, no, it's a little clear. It's clear enough for it to run. But okay, so we're going to put this in here. Put this in there. Put this in there. Make sure it all gets under under water. Yeah, under liquid. Okay. Now this, we're just going to see if it floats. And it seems to be floating. But once it gets cleaned up, you know, maybe something will come off of it where it, it won't float anymore. So what I like to do is, I like to sink these. So... 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside of here. Maybe. That way you don't just get half of it clean and you got to flip it over. That way that will take it down with it and clean it up real nice. Hopefully. Right, so I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to give this a couple hours. I'm going to put you guys on the charger. Back here. Oh, you're already out. Okay. And, uh, what the fuck? Man, I've been having weird shit last night. Last night, man, I was out in the kitchen. I made spaghetti and meatballs, right? And I had bread and butter. Well, the butter knife was laying there on the counter. Not, you know, on the counter. Like, you know, not on the edge. It was, you know, like that right there. You know what I mean? Okay? So, and I come out to get, get some more spaghetti on the stove. And I heard... I turned around, that butter knife had slid off the fucking counter and onto the the floor. Now, now last night, Monkey said she thought she saw a shadow in the hallway. She was like, you see that? And I said, no, what? She said, something just walked past there. Like, like what? Like, she said, like a shadow, like a person's shadow. And now that, I don't know what that was, but there's nothing over there to fall. So, anyway, let me, like I was getting ready to say, I'm going to go ahead and I'll clean that up with a little bit of steel wool. And I will go ahead and clean up the butterfly. Okay. And then I'll be back with you guys. So, but yeah, Monkey, she's at work today. So, I think she says she's got six patients. Five or six. So, we're going to start supper for her about 4.30. Hell, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. So... I was going to set some stuff out and sell while I was doing this, but I don't know. Who knows, right? So anyway, let me let the stuff uh, soak, and I'll, I'll put you guys on the charger so you don't go dead on me. And then um, um, we'll come back, and we'll put this thing together, and we'll put it back on and see see how it runs now I'm not going to leave it like this I'm going to have to order a carburetor because I'm going to sell that thing and I don't want somebody bringing it back you know a week later saying you know it's junk you don't want to run I want my money back look I'll fix it for you, you know I just want my money back I don't I don't like that that's happened to me a couple times in life <laughs> so I've been fortunate enough it don't happen a lot it hasn't happened to me in several several years like one time the last time it happened it was a guy's fault, you know. I sold a chainsaw a few years ago. Oh, it's probably been about five years ago now. And uh, he brought it back and said it wouldn't run. Well, he was right. There was no compression. I said, dude. I said, well, you mixing your gas and oil? He says, because he wanted his money back. I said, look, you know, we'll take a look at it and see what's wrong with it. First, I'm not going to refund your money on a used chainsaw. Well, if you're going to do something... And I started asking. I said, yeah, I'm going to do something. I'm going to find out what the fuck happened. So, you know, I pulled the gas cap off and uh, looked down inside. And I'm like, where are you mixing your gas at? He said, you don't mix your gas on this dumbass. There's a place for the oil right here and a place for the gas right here. I said, what's that gas cap say? Mix 40 to 1. Well, what's the oil thing for? I said, that's for your bar. You done blew this motherfucker up. What he did was he didn't mix the oil. He just ran regular gas in it. Made sure it had oil. But that was for the bar. He was so fucking pissed. He still wanted me to refund. I said, I ain't refunding you shit, dude. You know? You want me to give you back? I, and it was real cheap. So it was like 40 bucks, but it run good. He said, well, I want my money back. I said, oh, so you want me to give you $40? For a that don't run that you gave $40 for that ran flawlessly when it left my shop. I said, ain't gonna fucking happen, man. Well, you'll be hearing from my attorney. I never heard from his attorney. And uh, I filmed all that. And, uh, yeah, because I, I knew, I knew. I was like, look, something, something's up. This thing ain't got no compression. He blew it up. I knew it ran fine. Uh, 
it was just a polling, but it still it started up and ran fine. He said, you know, I used it one day. I only cut up four or five trees. Yeah, he ran a couple tankfuls of gas of just regular gas and not mixed oil. Man, that was so funny. You don't mix the oil, dumbass. Right here's where the oil goes. I said, let me tell you something, dumbass. What's that fucking cap say? So anyway, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't sell junk. You guys see that? I don't sell junk. It's right or I'm not going to sell it. You know, so. All right, guys. Let's let that soak and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. We're back. Now, I didn't blow it out with compressed air. Well, number one, because my air compressor is kind of on the fritz right now. So, and I didn't bother, you know, uh, I didn't really go into depth that much on it because we're going to put a new, we're just going to put a new carburetor on this thing. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on something that I'm just going to be uh, replacing. So, let's see here. I gotta remember how this thing went. <clears throat> the spring here. I believe went like that there. Okay. Like that. Now we have um da 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 da. Where's our little Our little spring at. <clears throat> oh, springs on here. So we're gonna put this on here, and I can see where the spring was on this, or the washer was. So I'm gonna flip this upside down like that. Now we're gonna put this down in here. Now this. Has to, this little spring here has to come around uh, let me see that's wrong <laughs> has to come around this way like that that way it holds it it's a return spring <clears throat> alright so now I get this back on here this can be this can be a little tricky guys okay so I'm gonna go like that here is the tricky part and I didn't clean that off real super duper good because I want to see where that screw head was I don't know if you can see that ring around that hole there that's where the screw head was because these can be adjusted and I don't don't want to mess up the adjustment I want to put it right back where it was it looks about like it right there make sure it's snugged real good see that is not also that throttle is not if you can see that the throttle is not opening all the way <clears throat> doesn't I mean you can mess with these see where that's that's hitting that right there you can see that is not wide open that's not a wide open throttle now I'm not gonna mess with it because that's the way it was that's why I'm gonna keep it it doesn't have to run if it was a go-kart yeah you would want it to where that that butterfly is straight up and down it's not a go-kart also if you've noticed this does not have a choke on it so all right uh, this can be cleaned out better but like I said I'm not going to spend a lot of time on something I'm going to replace uh, and the only reason why I'm replacing it I won't say the carburetor itself junk. I can rebuild this, but why rebuild it for six or seven dollars when I can get a new carburetor for ten to twelve? Which I think I seen this one. Like I said, uh, it was marked down to uh, nine ninety nine. So here's this. We're gonna put this on here. 
that's what I was going to show you. I got me a socket that fits right over top of that. Here. See how it fits that just nice and neat all the way around there. Now we're going to. And you can hear it when it goes down in. You can also see it. It is in there. It's seated good. And I can hear it. So. Alright, not bad. Now we've got to get this down in here. It's another thing. We're missing that O-ring, remember? So I'm not sure how this thing's gonna run. It may not run at all. Maybe that's what you know, but okay. That is in there. Let's see if it's yeah, let's see. Let's see it down in there? Right there. Now, um, <clears throat> it doesn't look right to me. Let's take that back out. I mean, it's in right, but the, uh, the, uh, that bottom o ring looked a little. a little weird to me yeah seems a little weird too we can get this out let me get a little piece of wire to pull that out this o-ring this one here when I push it down in there did not look right to me so it was kind of uh, I don't know yeah what a shame about that one so I know this hasn't been rebuilt there's no way this has been rebuilt Let me uh, get a smaller screwdriver here to see if I can get that pushed back down in there. There we go. See, it just uh, that's how I can tell someone didn't didn't uh, take this out when they had it apart last time because this rubber seal is not I think it swelled up a little so damn yeah this thing's probably not going to run right at all Yeah, because that seal is wanting to roll up off of there, and uh, that's not good. That is not good at all. And I don't have any of these. It's kind of like a flat. It's kind of like an O-ring, but it's a flat O-ring. You know, it's not round, rounded per se. So, yeah, I think I'll just replace the, I think I will just replace the damn carburetor. I just, uh, I just can't see spending, 
you know, half to three quarters of what it would cost of getting, let's see, of getting a new one, you know. Yeah, see. Totally worn, totally swelled up. So yeah, this this thing's probably not going to run, but we're going to put it on anyway, and, and we're going to see. But I'm just going to put it on mainly to keep the dirt and anything from going up in there. Bees, yes, we still have bees out here. There we go. All right, so yeah, don't don't expect a miracle out of this thing. Let me tell you, because. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Uh, maybe pushing this down through there may seat that, may seat that uh, O-ring in there, but I don't know. Let's see. Is not good guys so, this came out okay now it looks like someone soldered that there that shouldn't be there there was a hole there and I know this because I've soldered them too there's nothing wrong with it with soldering it but uh, <clears throat> this thing was definitely not rebuilt because if it was it would it would have the new float and this don't have a new float so it would have the new gaskets this is not a new gasket so, yeah if he paid someone to uh, rebuild this carburetor he got he got jacked because uh, this carburetor has not been rebuilt <clears throat> you, know, you can tell by looking at that thing has not been rebuilt It's kind of swelled up. Hmm. Not good. It's real brittle and See, look, it's almost double the size of what it should be on there. So there's really no way we're going to get that to seal now. I've seen this happen many times, though, that uh, you take these off and then they, they swell up. But I wanted to clean this real good and soak it. A lot of times if you keep them, leave them inside of here, you know, you'll be all right if you're going to reuse it but yeah most definitely this has not been rebuilt and I'm not going to rebuild it either I'm just going to go ahead and put a new carb on it and they probably charged him for a rebuild you know now let's see if we can get this on here whoops Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, if, if I, if I run across where I need one, see that, that floats too high, it should be, should be, should be level. Uh, if I run across 
an issue with one that I that the carburetor is actually bad I'll use this carburetor and rebuild it but for this application guys we're not going to rebuild it but like I said if I happen to get something that needs a carb maybe it's missing a carb or it's just too far gone you know I'll use this and I'll rebuild it yeah see it's all god damn it why I don't know why people people fucking do this shit they either don't know what they're doing or they just want a quick buck and screw people that's what pisses me off the most the guy probably did pay for a fucking rebuild I'd like to know who did this job. They would have rebuilt it fine. There'd been no issues with this fucking carburetor. But they didn't, and I know damn well they didn't. And like I said, they probably charged somebody for a rebuild kit. All they did was probably just found out just found out that it was flooding out because it had a hole in the float and they just fixed the damn float cleaned it up nice and pretty and go there yeah I rebuilt it see yeah, right I can tell you they never had that jet out of there okay guys just get it running get it out of the shop yeah why do people want to do that to people you know but let somebody try to screw them. And then all it's a different story. not only swelled up this way but it swelled up thickness wise width wise you know length wise diameter wise so you get the idea I'm gonna try to get this on there uh, I'm gonna save you half or half to watch that <laughs> When I get it on there, then we'll take it out and put it on and see if it runs any better. But like I said, I, I, I don't expect it to, and if it don't, that's fine because I'm just going to put a new carb on this. I can't, you know, I can't send this out like this even if it runs perfect. It's only going to run perfect for a little bit. One day somebody's going to start, go to start it up, and it ain't going to start. And that's, you know, that's, I'm not going to sell somebody something like that. So... I'll be back with you guys if I can get this on there. I may not. We may not even get to put this back on. So, hang on. Okay, guys. <laughs> we got it in there. <laughs> but it's going to leak. And I know it's going to leak because I had to cut this much out of it <laughs> to get it to fit. But, it's okay because, like I said, this is not a permanent fix. But when I take something apart... I like to put it back together so let's go outside and let's put this thing back together and uh, see what we come up with but yeah um, I would like to rebuild it but I don't I just uh, I just think I'm just gonna put a new carb on it for the money it's free shipping you know shit we'll put a new one on it but let's go put this back on and See if it helped in any. Okay, guys. As you can see, I didn't put the filter on because really there's no sense. Look at this. Can you guys see this? This is ridiculous. You know, who who does that shit? But as you can see, I didn't put the filter on because there's no sense in it because uh, we're not leaving this carburetor on here. So, wow. What a mess, huh? Jesus. This is... 
Now we know why they put the clamps on. To keep them from leaking. Jesus God Almighty. Alright. Let's go ahead and Good thing we're putting new a new carburetor on here, you know. Mm. Something ain't right here either. I just can't I, I just can't get over some of the things people do man ridiculous and charge people for first thing I'd have done when I seen them clamps telling what the hell you rebuilt the carburetor and didn't change the lines why would you need they don't take them kind of clamps on here you don't need them kind of clamps on this thing <laughs> Wow that's crazy. Rebuilt the carburetor. Yeah, right. Sure you did. Sure you did. That's the biggest scam in the world. <laughs> the biggest fucking scam in the world is rebuilding carburetors. Because they don't know if you've been in there or not. You know? Clean it up real good on the outside. Well, they must have rebuilt it. Look how clean it is. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Uh, it just amazes me. Some of the things people do and get away with. And, you know, and it's like... You got an honest guy right here, you know, charge half the money to do it right. And a lot of these people are guys they've been going, you know, companies they've been going to for years and swear by them. Oh, that's the best company. Eh? They'll treat you right. No, they won't. You know, I mean, come on. they. Uh, they charge you for a rebuild carburetor, and really all they do is what you see me do a hundred times. Put a new primer bulb in. Well, once that looks new, well, by gosh, everything else got to be new. Maybe some lines, and then they'll take the carburetor off, clean it, charge them for a new carburetor, you know, or, you know, for a rebuilt carb, whatever. All right, um... All right, let's put just a little bit of gas in here and we'll see if it's going to run. Or leak, because I know it's going to leak here. There's no way around that. Uh, but we're not going to put a lot of gas in. We're just going to... We're just going to fire it up. If it'll fire up. One good thing, we'll know if we're on the right track, right? <laughs> But yeah, that thing's getting a new carburetor, for sure. It deserves it.
can't believe that thing's running. I can't believe it's not leaking. All right, let's put, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the air cleaner to keep any bugs or stuff out of it. And, uh, and you know, it'll help. That way nothing gets up inside the cylinder is what I'm saying. No moisture can get up inside the cylinder because I don't know how long it's going to take me to order that carb. But when we order it or when it comes in, we'll put it on together. Yeah, that thing runs good, so if I need to use it, I mean, there's not going to be a problem in using it, uh, but I'm not going to sell it like that. I just ain't going to do that. So, I'll meet you guys in the garage. Okay, guys, so, as you saw, it was like, uh, what, not quite 11 o'clock this morning. I let that thing soak all that time, and it's now 310, 309. So, I let it soak probably two and a half going on three hours and um, but man that thing's running beautiful it sits and idles uh, I shredded up some stuff over here you guys didn't see that I didn't want to bore you with it but it's shredding up fine it's beautiful uh, it's running good anywhere you put the throttle it's running fine but now if I was just going to keep it if that was my personal one I'd go ahead and order a carb and I would just have it for when that thing eventually went out, which it's going to. Something's going to happen to it. I don't trust it. Uh, now, since I'm so, if you guys are going to keep something and you do something like this and it works for you and it's yours personally, go kart, even whatever, mini bike, run it like that. But whatever you do, don't don't fix it up just to get it going like that and then expect to sell it because you know people's not going to be happy. And I wouldn't be happy knowing, you know, that it's just a matter of time before that seal starts leaking. Because remember, we cut that seal in half. And I didn't glue it back together. You know, sometimes you can cut them in half and then put a little piece of super glue on them and they'll be fine. Well, number one, I didn't have super glue. Number two, that thing was shot anyway. So I figured if it leaks a little bit, at least we'll get to try it. So we know the carburetor uh, had issues and it's still... You know, it's still missing no ring up in there, even though it's running fine. Like I said, if it was my personal one, I'd keep it like that until something happened. And then by then, I would have a new car, but carburetta. But, um, I, I like I said, I could rebuild it, but for you know, what's five dollars on resale? You know, I mean. It's going to be a $10 carburetor, free shipping, blah, blah, blah. I'll get it. We'll throw it on there, and that'll be that. Um, I, won't be, I won't be into my profit margin too much. Uh, I will have, when I do that, I'll have about $10 extra in it. So I'll have like 80 bucks in it. You know, I'm going to put two and a quarter on it. So, yeah, I can afford... To put ten dollars in it so someone gets a good running machine you know and and that's what i want to sell them because you know they're going to pay me pretty good money for it and a lot of people you know that's almost a week's work for them just to get something that they need and have it break down on uh, that's not me you know um, so they're going to pay me good money i'm going to give them good equipment so just remember that guys uh, i don't know if you've seen earlier had my hat off i mean it is hot it's very hot so uh, kind of glad I didn't set up today because while um, I was doing something for another video it's going to be a quick uh, life hack but I was doing something for that and that only took a few minutes so I went in and watched uh, I watched a movie so kind of kicked back for a little bit while the the carburetor was soaking so oh I made me and Bruno brunch it was almost lunchtime. It was it was about ten to twelve by then. So, so and then I just kind of kicked it and and uh, let that carburetor cleaner do its thing. It does good. Uh, st still, still want to get an ultrasonic cleaner, but there's more stuff that has to come before that. They're not very expensive. They're like sixty or eighty bucks for a cheap one. I think Harbor Freight's got them, but um so i've been just kind of keeping my eye out on, on flea markings and stuff see if i can find one 
a little cheaper than that but when I get the extra money I will have one and uh, I would like to get a bead blaster sometime too for cleaning up parts that I'm going to paint and stuff like that so but yeah I think it's going to make someone a nice machine I'd like to keep it but you know you can't keep everything and um, it would only be used well it would be used quite a bit it'd probably be used once a month anyway here <coughs> truck shouldn't be allowed to ride on drive on this road but yeah I'd probably use it once a month twice a month um, it would be handy but uh, it's not a necessity you know like lawnmower we need the lawnmower you know it's not for sale uh, we do need a chainsaw so I am keeping a chainsaw I've got two that are mine and several that need to be worked on um, but that thing it's not a necessity you know um, so it's going to go down the road and it's going to pay a bill for us, I'm sure. So anyway, guys, thanks for chit-chatting with me. I appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more on the truck when we find out what's going on with it. And I'll have to order some parts for it once, you know, once the uh, insurance adjusters do their thing and everything. We'll have to get a new bumper and two two more bumper brackets I think I did a video putting them on didn't I I think so maybe not but I will on this one I uh, may get a tailgate because that tailgate didn't close right after the first crash so so anyway probably get another tailgate for it we'll just have to see what you know what we got going on but it's going to definitely it's going to need a new bumper this time um, they're about 150 bucks for that style and why put just a regular hundred dollar bumper on there when it had a step bumper to begin with I think it deserves that's what's going back on it so you know but anyway stay tuned for more of that and um, uh, I got a quick life hack for you coming up um, and it's pretty useful and it does work and it will be handy for for some of you anyway um, I know it's been handy for me but in the past not recently but more on that in that video so stay tuned for it it'll be coming up here shortly probably it might it's probably going to be the one after this video so stay tuned for a life hack and um maybe i don't know but maybe this weekend i might do an investigation a ghost investigation of this house and see what's going on i don't think the house is haunted but there's been so much stuff around this land you know around the properties around here and the lakes <clears throat> you know there's been so many battles with the indians and the government around this area i'm sure there's spirits floating through here all the time but more on that later too so thanks for watching guys thanks for hanging out with me i appreciate it and remember shea bear the myth man legend I'm gone for now don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel she's got some awesome videos and she's getting better and better and better so um she's she's going to make it big time here soon i i know she is i got i got faith in her so uh don't forget to check her out and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more videos like this and so much more cooking and all this stuff. I've got so many playlists. You guys could have a Shea bear -thon and watch videos for hours. There's over 800 videos to choose from. So if you go check my channel out, please enjoy. And we'll chat at you guys soon. Thanks again and bye-bye.